So here at Schutz we do Discovery Day, which is uh, something we do as a half day activity for the entire middle school, where we pick one theme and then do a real cross-disciplinary, multidisciplinary um, approach to that day. We have um, rotating stations, um, and for this particular uh, Discovery Day, uh, I decided to, I wanted to share my passion for, for hip hop. I wanted students to understand the real significance and the real meaning of hip hop and understand the four elements of hip hop. Our Discovery Days are a wonderful opportunity for students to break out of kind of their school routine, to learn in a real hands-on, engaging manner, and to learn about something that is not in, in the normal curriculum. Hip hop is something that um, I hope I hope you'll understand is something that um, came from it came from the streets it came from people that didn't have any way of kind of expressing themselves and it came from a desire to um, express what was going on in these people's lives in in what were really um, very poor upbringings in America. People use the terms interchangeably rap with hip hop. Where hip hop is a big culture, rap is something you do, hip hop is something you live. Tables became our instrument. Like, so a lot of people in the inner cities, they didn't have money for instruments. So you had to find those sounds somewhere. Be the DJ. Now, DJ has to change, okay? Now, what we call producing. Does anybody know what it means to produce or be a record? Using an online program, students then made their own beats which they then use as a background for their spoken word poems that they composed. This is a great tool for them to spark creativity and also to integrate music into this cross-disciplinary approach of our Discovery Day. And the kids, as you can tell, really had fun uh, making these beats. couple videos I want to show you to start out with. Uh, this first one to call is from a group called Black Star. The beauty of lyrics. These lyrics without the music are just a poem. That's all they are. They have a rhythm, sometimes they have rhyme, but they don't have to. So one of the easiest things to do is to look at spoken word poetry, also known as slam poetry. Evolution doubled over. We used to sit in treetops, so we swung down to stand upright, and someone slipped a disc. Now we're doubled over at desktops. From the Garden of Eden to the branches of Macintosh, apple picking has always come at a great cost. iPod, iMac, iPhone, iChat, I can do all of these things without making eye contact. Now with uh, showing students how to create lyrics by telling a story and looking at imagery, the first hip hop song we looked at shows us kind of the story of New York City. It shows us the emotion, the grit, the violence, the, the life of the singer. And then after that, we switch into the slam poetry unit, which shows the kids spoken word can be the same as lyrics. It's just without a beat. And the emotional ranges depend on the storytelling, the content you're choosing, and what you're hoping to do with it. The students now are working on their own lyrics, and what they're going to do is they've also had a beat program, so they have music that's going to go behind it, and then they're going to perform that, upload it, and then we're going to see the finished product, which is their emotional story. Boys, what's what's your theme gonna? What's the theme of your music song? What? Like, uh, the lesson is that once you have everything in your head and you don't know what to think, the emotions are really possible. Right. Then you say, but no, it's fine, it's fine. Flesh, Make sure, like, that you don't lose your, uh, your focus or something, so, you gotta be like, like, you put this out of it.
my name is Ziad Bish, uh, aka Monster of Worlds. Uh, I'm a graffiti artist since uh, 2010. And uh, actually, a graffiti for, for kids or art in general for kids is so important to express your, your idea, to express yourself, to express anything you want. For our graffiti activity, students first learn how to tag their own names by finding a creative way to, to write their name. Uh, and then they worked together and started to practice it on, their, on the board. And finally they worked together to start to fill in our mural, which was a four part mural that we then put together at the end of the day so they could great. see exactly what it spelled out. <laughs> I will continue to lock away the real me is what's expected. Pop is, was a type of music and dance for people that like that didn't have good schools and that lived, didn't live in good places. So they needed to express themselves in some way. So they had like slam poetry and a lot of different other stuff. Excellent. Good. So what have you been doing today? We did slam poems and the beat, beatbox, like our own music sampling, some stuff, and we did break dancing. How'd you do in break dancing? It was good. It was really nice. I saw you had some good moves. Pop is just uh, uh, trash talking and saying bad words. It's about expressing your feelings and uh, how you uh, embrace it among other people. It is also uh, how people uh, people think to show how they feel about the world, what they want to change, uh, uh, what they want uh, to do. What have what, what you been enjoying today? Uh, I was enjoying the break dancing because I got to enjoy and I got to learn a lot of new uh, stuff about dancing. And yeah. Cool. What about like, what, what, what can you tell us about kind of what is hip hop? I think hip hop is like, most people see it as not a culture, most people see it just as like dancing. But uh, once you start learning more about it, it's like actually a culture and it's, uh, it's really amazing. We okay. enjoy uh, uh, learning these uh, new things in Discovery Day in our school. I think it's a very uh, educational thing. That we yeah, we also. learned how to do graffitis and uh, how to do beats and uh, poetry with Mr. S. And, uh, uh, hip hop, hip -hop uh, dancing hip hop with Mr. Alex. You guys are good dancers, I saw yeah. that. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, guys. At some point, it's important. Flesless,